So the other point to make here is the intersection between climate change and peak oil. Because if we peak this all right, in um, just the, ne the next few years, certainly 2015 by the latest, as we say, Virgin, Scottish and Southern Arab and all those companies on the task force, what's going to happen on your watch is that uh, there will be a soaring, sort of over a, conceivably a matter of weeks, realization in the market that, oh my God, just as people started thinking, you know, all this crazy stuff of squeezing risk out of complex derivatives, maybe there are a few cracks in that story to, oh shit, the whole stuff, the whole lot could be toxic and could bring down the whole house of cards. That's what we think is going to happen in peak oil. And when that panic hits the markets and the oil tankers start staying at home because the oil producing countries will be subject to this as well as the oil consuming countries, what you then is global energy crisis turning into energy famine for uh, many oil-consuming countries, of which, of course, we are now one. 